Well, it matters globally uh, in that when we look at, for example, the Panama Papers, over half of the entities that were cited in those papers were UK shell companies. When you look at the, Fins, the leak of the FinCEN leaks, again, over 3,000 of the entities cited in those leaks were UK shell companies. So that's, we, we, we have both a domestic reach and a global reach. I think it matters to us because we have increasingly become the jurisdiction of choice for every kleptocrat, uh, criminal and money launderer in the world. And that's uh, bad. You know, we used to have a rep reputation for being a trusted jurisdiction governed by the rule of law. And therefore, those who did business with us could have trust in us. If we don't tackle the corruption that we facilitate, we will lose that reputation. We need better transparency. We need better regulation. We need better enforcement. And we need better accountability. Toughening up the role of, the, of uh, those facilitators, regulating them better, and actually making them accountable. One of the, my constant battles is trying to persuade the government that if you are really going to bear down on corruption and financial crime, you have to make those facilitators accountable, per, the directors of the organizations personally accountable for the actions they take. Having said that, they've made all sorts of paper commitments but year upon year upon year, we wait for that to be translated into actual legislative uh, proposals, a bit of law there that we can interrogate and will get, get, uh, wend its way through Parliament. And year on year on year, we're disappointed. So again, I've been told, oh, there'll definitely be something in the 2022 parliamentary cycle. I wait with bated breath. But um, what we do want to see is uh, legislation that desperately reform, does the reform of companies house, and it's affordable. I mean, at the moment, it costs £12 to form a company in the UK. You could quadruple that to £50 and use the income that you gain to establish a really strong regulatory capability and support and resource some of the policing. It's so simple, it's so obvious, and 50 quid to set up a company is not really a barrier to economic activity and growth. I think uh, ensuring that when you create a new corporate entity, the information is, is, uh, can be verified. Giving the powers to companies' house to interrogate, enabling them to cooperate with uh, other agencies, uh, making sure that all the formation agency, agents are um, properly regulated and inspected, putting some controls on international formation agents so that they can't use the UK system to wrong imp effects. These are all things which are perfectly part of my vision. David Cameron initiated the original anti-corruption uh, strategy, the summit. I don't think it's been uh, properly monitored or robustly and ambitiously uh, implemented. But the worry is it comes to an end next year. What next? Company house reform would be absolute priority number one. I think accountability of the enablers would be a priority number two. Um, I think looking at trusts as well as companies would be priority number three. And I think looking at transparency around the ownership of properties might be priority number four. But that's just for starters. Yeah.